Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be unboxing a special item. I hope you enjoy. I'm also going to be reviewing this item if any of you out there are looking to get this in the future. Or maybe if you want to get something different and you figured, oh, maybe I might want this item. So I'm going to review this and unbox it. So I hope you enjoy and let's get right into it. Okay, so let's start unboxing this. I got this shipped from Amazon because there is a pretty good sale on it. Now the original price is $169, and I thought, well that's pretty expensive, and Prime Day was going on, so they lowered their price on Amazon to $129, $128, I think it's $128 now. But uh, yeah, I got it for a good price, and I got a few things with it, so we're going to unbox those in this video. So let's start unboxing the Fitbit Charge 3. So here we have the Fitbit Charge 3 Special Edition. I like this though, this is a great. I love all the features. I'm gonna read a few features off here. Automatically tracks activity, exercise and sleep, workout goals and real time stats. So you can track your running if you connect it to your phone with GPS. 24 seven heart rate tracking, I think that's really useful. And as I said before, real time pace and distance with phone GPS, so that's when you connect it to your phone. Sleep tracking, light deep, and REM apps for weather and more. Some interchangeable bands that are, of course, sold separately. I did get one of those. On wrist payments with Fitbit Pay, and that's only with the special edition. So, as you see here, and um, battery life up to seven days, which is better than most of the other Fitbits. And this is water resistant up to 50 meters. So, I, I would say that's pretty good because the Fitbit Alta, which I have right now, is only splash resistance. So like, let's say you splash a little bit of water on here. It's gonna be somewhat fine. You just can't submerge it all the way down. So let me first explain why I got the Fitbit Charge 3 here. Right now, I currently have the Fitbit Alta HR, which has heart rate and a few other good features, but I needed some more features, and the Charge 3 brings a lot to the table. And for price, it's almost the same as the Alta HR which I, I kind of find that a little bit hard to believe, but um, I definitely recommend getting this. Now let's open the box. Now there's a little tab right here, as you can see, and you just start by pulling that tab, and what you can do is take off that little sticky plastic. And then you can go ahead and open the box. Now I think it's also clever that they have a Fitbit sort of branded piece of plastic there that you can pull it out with. So here we have the Fitbit Charge 3 band, you can see it a little bit better over here. And we have some accessories. Now we have the large and small version of the band for the special edition. And we have the original black, large and small for here. So let's say you have a smaller wrist and the large band doesn't fit on it, they choose to send you both, which I think is really nice of them. Here we have the charger for the Charge 3. Now this is a proprietary charger, so it's different from the Charge 2. And here we actually have the, the uh, Charge 3. Now this has the small band on it. I'm gonna show you in a minute how to change the band because of course I'm gonna need to do that. But um, you're first gonna need the uh, large band. Now I think it's clever how they only need the big piece on here. So as you see right here, this is the small band. Now this is the big one. So this goes around a lot longer. So I'm going to change that out. So you're going to push down on that tab. See the tab right down there? You're going to want to pull them apart. I think that's a pretty cool connection system. And what you're going to want to do if you want the big one, or maybe you have the big one on already, you're just going to want to push it against there and it's automatically locked in. So that's how you do it on the Charge 3. 
Now I think that's a pretty clever system for how you can actually change the bands out because it's better than the Alta HR where you just push up and you have that disconnected because sometimes you can do that by accident. You don't actually want to do that. So let's go ahead and get this thing charged and I'm going to show you some of the features. Okay, I took my Alta HR off now and I have my Fitbit on and it's telling me to go to fitbit.com forward slash setup. Now instead of doing that, you can go simply to the Fitbit app if you already have it installed. Or if you're new to Fitbit, you can go ahead and go through their process and go on their website. Whatever one works for you better. Now if you already have a Fitbit added and let's say you want to add another one, you can do that. Or you can remove the one you have. So I'm going to put a recording on screen right here and I'm going to show you my Fitbit app currently. I'm going to show you how I add a new Charge 3 or how I remove the Alta HR and put and how I put the Charge 3 in. So the first thing you're going to want to do is tap on the top right menu and that's going to show account. And you can always create a family account here. You can go to your current device here. And you can go to your current device and hit remove at the bottom if you choose to do that. Or if you want to keep that device on there. You can go to set up a new device. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and select your device. You have many choices here to find the exact device you have. The older ones are always at the bottom. So this is in chronological order. So the newest is at the top. So what we're going to do is select the charge 3 here and we're going to hit setup. So it has the terms and conditions, you can read all that and um, yeah, I, I advise you do. Okay, so once you've read all of this, you can hit I agree and you can charge your charge 3 and that shows you the little animation, how you charge it. Make sure you line up the pins there with the pins on the Fitbit. Once you've done that, it's going to say searching for charge 3, and we found it. And it's going to put a pair code on screen of your Fitbit. So I'm going to show that to you real quick. Pair code on here. That is my pair code currently. So once you've done that, you have to type in the pair code 8897. That's fine. You guys can know that because I already paired my device by the time you're watching this. So once you've paired your device, and it's going to say connecting to Fitbit at the bottom, it's going to give you a few more things to do. And it's going to give you a check mark on here. It's going to say update available. Now that's usual. You want to keep your tracker close to your device while you're updating. You can't go too far away because it's actually updating from your phone. It's actually sending data from the phone to the Fitbit, so you're going to want to hit update tracker, and you can check out some awesome things you can do with your Charge 3. So I'm going to show you some of that right now. You can track your activity, how many steps, the distance you've walked, how many calories you've burned, how many active minutes you have, the heart rate during your rest and activity, and how well you slept the previous night. You can get back on track. So I currently have a low battery right now, so what I'm going to do is charge my Fitbit and I'll get back to you in the video when that is charged. Okay, so I have my Fitbit charged up to 58%. The, uh, the requirement was to be at least at 50%, so I am there by now. Okay, so I have my Fitbit back on and I have it at 58%. So now I am able to do the update. Okay, so we're going to put the recording back on screen right here. Here is the recording. So let's hit try again. And it's going to be setting up and it says downloading at the top. And then you can hit where you watch your way. And you can choose different clock faces. Let's say you want analog. You can have analog as seen in the top left one. And you can have the 1258 in big text, as you can see in the top right one. And you can have the other one in the bottom left, which is a, a cool font. I like that. And then you can have the small text and your heart rate goal, maybe? Or your step goal in the uh, bottom right. So I think that's pretty cool. And then you can optimize your workouts. Charge 3 tracks your real-time stats during exercise, so you can analyze your performance. You get your real-time pace and distance. You can see your real-time pace and distance on your wrist during runs and rides with phone-connected GPS. 
You get 15 plus goal based exercise modes. Select a workout, set a goal, and see real time stats and goal progress during your workout. I think that's really great. You can smart track. Automatically record runs, walks, elliptical, and other workouts. I think that's really cool too. So this is going to take a minute to update. Feel free to use your phone during this update. Just remember to keep it close to the Church 3. I'm going to get back to you when the Church 3 is fully updated. Okay, so I have finished the update. It has a green text. I'll put it on screen right now. But um, yeah, let's hit continue. Try it on. It is the moment your wrist has been waiting for throughout the day where your tracker loosely enough to move up and down, to move up and down your wrist. So you can uh, do that. Next, swipe up for stats. Wow. Okay. Press the button to go back. So let's say I'm going to swipe up. Oh cool, I have a um, .33 miles walked today, not too much. You can press to go back. Swipe down for notifications. Nothing new here, you're all caught up. That's pretty cool. Next, change settings quickly. Okay, you can go to notifications screen week okay and you can swipe left for apps you can exercise relax timers alarms weather and other settings vibrations normal and brightness auto I like having on an auto because then automatically adjusts to where you are if it's really bright out you can have it at a brighter screen so then you're not using your battery all the way up weather you have to sync with your phone to uh, see that Okay, let's go to the next one. Wear and care tips. Clean your band and wrist regularly with a soap-free cleaner. If your Charge 3 gets wet, remove and dry completely after your activity. Take your device off from time to time. Of course, if you want to track your sleep, you can leave that on during the night and maybe take it off in the morning. Of course, with skin irritation, you want to remove the tracker and you can uh, see wear and care tips right there. And you're all set. Okay. Um, we're going to open settings. I'm just going to blur all this. Um, get back to the Fitbit app. And Charge 3 is connected. And now you see that um, the whole UI has changed a little bit. You have the uh, floor now. So you can see how many floors climbed. You see a few, a few other things, which I think is cool. I still haven't gotten the Fitbit app update, so some of the other people have a different UI than me, which I think is kind of annoying. So I'm still trying to, uh, you know, get that fixed. But uh, you can go through clock faces. I'm actually going to change a few of those. With the Fitbit Versa, you actually have a clock store, so you can get different ones. On here, you have a ton of different ones. So I'm going to choose one that looks pretty good. Um, I want something with heart rate and footsteps on it. Or, <laughs> steps on it. But something that looks good. Um, let's see. Retro Double Stat. I think that looks pretty good. We're gonna download that one as well as. Um, we're gonna do Charge 2 Retro. I like that a little bit better than the other one, which was um, Retro Double Stat. I just wanna make sure I have the steps and the heart rate and the time on there. And I have uh, the uh, date, of course, too. Okay, here we go. We have a check mark on here. Ooh, this looks nice. I like this. This is a great Fitbit. Okay, let's go to apps. What apps do we have here? Settings, install. All of these are installed. Perfect. Let's see the weather though. Unit Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Um, I'm going to cut off the screen recording here. Okay, I'm going to return to the... I'll, I'll put the recording back on screen here. Here is the recording. Uh, wallet. You can uh, pay with your wrist, leave your wallet at home, and pay in seconds with Fitbit Pay. Works at all stores that accept contactless payments, so that's Apple Pay and all those. Enhanced security. Fitbit Pay never stores your real card number. Merchants only see a device specific number, and you get the same protection from your bank. In current available banks, Fitbit Pay is now available with select bank partners 
and more are added every month. Check support the banks below. I'll show you that real quick. And lots, and lots, and lots, and lots of banks. So I'm not going to add anything for Fitbit Pay. Uh, how to use? I think we already went through this one. So I do have some other things to unbox that I'm going to do in one minute. So yeah, overall this is a pretty nice device lock. I'm going to blur this when I add a passcode. You guys won't see what passcode it is. I'll just blur every single number and you guys won't uh, be able to tell. But um, I do have some Amazon packages to unbox. I have another one for this. So let's set this security code. I'm actually just going to stop recording. I have a pin code set. So now I lock my device. I'm not sure how that exactly works. Okay, so I'm going to show my crazy alarm setup. So I have this on 24 hour time, some people call it military time, I say that's fine, whichever one you prefer. So I'm going to start with the alarm at 531. have all of those on there as I showed you before. <laughs> your dominant hand is sure hope if you are using this device you know what your dominant hand is. So there we have all of our cool things showed on there. But yeah this is really cool. I can't wait to start trying all these new things out on here. And it's going to be a really cool venture. You guys are going to see in the beginning of the vlogs down at the beach, I'm going to be running a little bit. I want to test this thing out, see how it works. Um, it's pretty simple actually. You can just scroll to the right and you can go through all these different menus. Biking, swimming, treadmill, run, weights, and walking. I think it's really cool that you can do that because then you can track how much you want to um, do. It's really cool though, and you can use that button on the side to go back. So, it's really cool, really great Fitbit, and I can't wait to keep using it. This is great. This is really great. Let's unbox our next item. I'm sorry this took so long. Okay, so let's unbox this here. Try not to cut towards yourself. This is the bottom, okay, no, it's not. That really didn't work. Okay, so we have two items and no packing, so both okay. The first thing we have is a little plastic cover for the Fitbit. Now why I wanted this is because I didn't want to scratch anything on there. I, I just didn't want to do that. I thought it would be uh, nicer to just put a little piece of plastic on it. So I'm going to put that on there now. Okay, I reattached both of my bands. I'm putting my Fitbit back on. I'm pretty sure this is the right way I'm doing it. It should be. I remember when Fitbits were big. I mean, it they are still really big. But remember when everybody was wearing them, like the uh, Fitbit Flex? I mean, those were the good times. I just don't want it to be too tight and uncomfortable. Okay, so the next thing we have is a band. Now this band right here is modeled after the Apple Watch band. As you can see, it has that little clip here. And it looks similar to the Apple Watch bands. I'm, I'm actually going to try this on. I'm going to take this band off real quick. These bands are a little bit more frustrating to get on because the last one I had the on the Ulta, that one was magnetic. These are not magnetic. You can get a magnetic band. You can get the exact same one I had on there on the E-Church. So it just doesn't look as good when it's bigger. That is frustrating to get on. I still haven't gotten it on the tightness I need it to be. I'm working on that. Oh, that's how you do it. So you set it there, put that part on your wrist, 
Okay, that feels better. But um, that's the band, that's how it looks. I like it. It's a nice band. I might put on the other one, maybe, and try this a different day. But I like how it looks. You have a little pin at the bottom. It took a while to get on. Like, a while. <laughs> I can actually set a timer on here. I do recommend getting this Fitbit. It is a great product. I love using it, and it's really good price. I think on Amazon right now it's 129 but um, yeah, it used to be like 160 or something. So I do recommend getting this if you were looking into getting a Fitbit and you wanted something that had capabilities of tracking your steps, of course, that's what Fitbit is known for, and tracking your running paces, your distance, and your real-time running. This is the thing to do it. I mean, this thing is really useful. It's a great product and it's for a great price. So I do recommend getting this. If you're looking into getting something, feel free. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you didn't see before my 100 subscribers video, that will be right up there. Click right up there now. And uh, I want to thank you all so much for watching this because it is really appreciated. You guys spent the time to watch this. And maybe you're just looking for a Fitbit Charge 3 review and if it's worth buying. I do really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Thank you all for spending time to watch this. It's great. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below. That is always, always appreciated. And while you're down there, feel free to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 150 subscribers before the end of the summer. And I know I didn't think I'd get to 100 subscribers before the end of the summer, but it's crazy. I, I did it. So um, thank you all so much for watching, and make sure you follow me on Twitter right up there, and Instagram right up there, and yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Have a absolutely amazing day. See you soon. I'm actually just going to stop recording. So I have a pin code sent. A, a pin code sent. I I have a pin code set. So now I lock my device. I'm not sure how that exactly works.